And welcome back to another episode here on The Richter Show. And today we are actually gonna review Quito Airport Suite Hotel. Now I do have to inform that when I got to this hotel, it was almost one in the morning. So I wasn't able to film too much around. Uh, it was just too dark at that time and I was just too tired. Unfortunately, that's the time that my uh, plane landed and I had to go through immigration. And it just took me more than an hour and a half to do all that. Um, the good thing about this place is that it's about 10 minutes from the airport. So it's pretty nice and sweet. Now I'm only gonna be here for 10 hours. Uh, that's the reason why I got it. Unfortunately, I would have preferred if I would have landed in the afternoon. Maybe I could have gone out to the city and explore, but <laughs> I got here at one in the morning. There's really not much for me to do, and I gotta catch another flight at 11 in the morning. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just using this place uh, as a place where I can sleep, so I can take a shower, and relax until my next flight. Anyway, uh, I want to say that it was nice that the attendant was here waiting for me and I did book a taxi through the hotel itself. Um, it cost me, as of now, it cost me $8. I gave him 10, so I gave him like a $2 tip and I just came straight to the room. No hassle, no problems. Um, there is Wi-Fi and pretty much knocked out. Now, the next day, which is the moment in which I'm recording this, uh, I did go to have breakfast. They do have breakfast from seven to nine. It is a very uh, basic breakfast, but it's complete. And they cook it from scratch, pretty much. Uh, they make omelets. It's not any of that like fake eggs that they put powder or whatever. She actually does crack the eggs and does it for you there. Uh, I did try some quail eggs that they had. Now they do have some quails outside, which is fun. Uh, it is it is like a little nice uh, place to come and relax between flights. And so um, I can't talk much about it since all I did was basically just sleep and have breakfast. And now I'm about to get out of here as soon as I finish this. So this is basically the room as you can see. There's a nice comfy bed for two people. Uh, it's very small, but there's a desk. Just a place you can hang your clothes. The bathroom is tiny, but it gets the job done. It was actually pretty cold uh, in the middle of the night, so, so make sure you take at least a jacket. Don't think that's just because you're in South America, it's gonna be all hot all the time. Would I recommend this place to stay at? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, if you're doing it for the purposes that I'm doing it, get, by all means, come and do it yourself and stay at this place. And I'm gonna give this a rating based on what I did and based on the experience on the Richter scale. A four out of five. That is correct, a four out of five. And that is because it's not really a five star hotel. You don't come here expecting that you're gonna get this like luxurious thing, but sometimes these um, like miniature hotels or side hotels are actually just what you need is a change of scenery. It's the way to see things a little bit different. So I would totally stay here again if it happened. Uh, and I love it how it's just 10 minutes from the airport. And I like it that it was just so cheap to get a uh, taxi from the airport to here. In which, um, I'm gonna add to that, that I am gonna take a taxi back from here from the airport, which is gonna be about the same price. So, with that said, um, in case if I didn't mention it, uh, this is, uh, I am in Quito, Ecuador. <laughs> I'm a little tired. But yes, I am in Quito, Ecuador, and that's what this place is actually located at, in particular. Anyway, if you like reviews like these, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode here, only on The Rachel Show. See you on the next hotel review. Shout out to the host of The Richter. The Richter. This The Richter Show. The Richter Show.